Hi you guys, it's Ginger Cook and it's Acrylic Painting Monday and I'm sorry to tell you that the camera that we were able to show you me just died. So that camera is gone and you know, so it's not in the budget to replace it. So you, you just get the video. Normally you get to see me on Mondays, but now you don't. But <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing a Mardi Gras mask and I've done something a little bit differently than normally you would expect. What I've done is I've drawn this heart shape on here for the face, all right? And I've, I've outlined the mask, and then uh, since I know this area is gonna be dark with color over it, I've gone ahead and painted that purple, and then I did this section. Well, John actually came up with this idea. I was just gonna do it purple and yellow, but he thought it would be better to have this white in blue since these are underpainting colors. We got yellow up here and orange in here because when you're trying to do bright colors it's sometimes that's very helpful. All right. So the traceable for this Mardi Gras mask will be on our, available on our website uh, paintingwithginger.com tomorrow um, and for orange members and above. All right. So if you want to trace it on. But it's a pretty simple heart shape. You see that pretty simple heart shape? And um, if you thought of this heart as a clock, um, this is 12 o'clock, because where the nose starts, right? You know, 12 o'clock, and kind of down here in the eyes, it'd be about, uh, if this was 3 o'clock on a, on a clock, this the eyes would start here, you know, about 3 o'clock. So anyway, just sketch it on if you want, or I'll wait for our traceable. So there we go. This is a 9 by 12 canvas. The colors I'm using are very bright colors. I'm going to bring this up here for you. Titanium white, ultramarine blue, thalo blue, thalo green. Uh, these are two different dyes and purples, just two different brands. Magenta, cad red medium, cad red light. Um, I've got a couple of the whole line luminous colors, and then I've got a light orange, a cad yellow light, and a cad yellow medium. So those are the colors uh, that we're going to do. So we've already done one underpainting color of white, but you'll notice you still see some of the other color that was under this canvas. So that has to be, that has to have another coat of white, all right? So you wouldn't just, that's the one thing I noticed that, uh, that, that happens with people is they're not using enough layers, okay? So let's start by just uh, doing the bottom part of the face, I think, all right? And uh, can we talk to our moderators, say hi to our moderators while I'm doing that, John? I'm just going to take some white and give this another coat, okay? Hello, moderators. Moderator Judy, Luann, Steffi, and Tech Liz. Okay, you guys, thank you very much. John is really bummed out. He spent hours today working on a video. We had some people tell us that they could not figure out for the life of them how to attach a link to a video and then post it in our Facebook club. And so I said to John, I said, maybe we could do a video and show it when I'm drying or something and let people know it. It's so simple to do. Once we show you, you'll think, oh my God, I couldn't believe it was that easy. Yeah, one of those kind of things, yes and yes. However, what happened was that um, uh, he got, got, well tell him what happened John, you got all, you made it, then what happened? Well I got all ready to uh, put it into our, our little device that we use to broadcast with and it says, oh I can't do videos, I can only do stills. If you want to do a video you have to run it through another device, run it into me and then play it from there and do this and that and I go, oh, this isn't going to happen today. And then the camera went out and so it's just, it's a typical Monday. Yeah, John's just getting to the point where he really hates acrylic painting Monday because of the because it's of always that. Something every single yeah, I'm, Monday. I think I forgot to put yellow oxide out, and I'm going to do that now. A little we bit of start that. Over so we can bring it up and let everybody know. We should do put, that. Put, put what now, John? We should probably start over again. Why nobody can hear us? No, but you didn't have the yellow oxide out in time. Oh, I thought there was another glitch, and I was just talking to the air or something. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, so anyway. yeah, little bit of yellow oxide, and I'm going to add it to this side of the face and blend it into the, the wet white. And uh, what I want to do is uh, just take a piece of towel, paper towel here. Oh gosh, I just did that. I didn't want to do that. Oh man, just <laughs> this is Monday, man. There. I'm going to change our days. So anyhow. Um, yeah, Monday is just not a good day for us, is it? 
Maybe Tuesday. Maybe we could, Tuesday would be better. What do you think, John? <laughs> Wipe the paint off and then come back into the white. So it's just I don't want it that I don't want it that yellow, but I want it just to hint a little bit of yellow color here on this side. Okay. And then on the other side, okay, you're going, wow, can you see how that's just a little bit kind of a warm white, right? Ivory white. And then on on uh, this side, I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue and white, and I'll just kind of tap it on here like that. Mostly white, like 99% white. A little bit of ultramarine blue. Maybe I'll use thalo. I like that better, thalo blue instead. All right, and then I want to come on this side of the face right here. I want to su suggest a bit of a shadow kind of right on the corner of the, where the mouth is going to be. And then right up here under the nose, right like that. And on this side of the, you know how you have a bow on the lip? So we're going to say that's there. Okay. And a little tiny bit of magenta in white. We're just going to, we're going to teach you how to, how to blend as you, um, on wet on wet as you still have color. Okay. There's a little bit of that magenta that we're going to, Blend into that now, and just coming down here on the bottom of the chin. Then we'll come over here on this side. And just, just do that. All right. Just a bit of a shadow. Not, not. People don't understand the importance of shadows. I can have something a little darker on this side, but I can't put it because the white's still wet. So, but I've got my first set of shadows, and maybe a little tiny bit right under. A little bit of this blue shadow right under the lip, right under here like that. It's not an outline, it's just a shadow. All right. So now we're in the blue shadows. Let's talk about that. So I want to take the phthalo blue in white, and I'll just um, mix it over here like that. Let's take, it's a pretty good, I'll put a little tiny bit of magenta with it. Okay, kind of make it a little bit more purple. A little bit more thalo blue, a little bit more magenta. Kind of put those colors together. That's pretty, isn't it? Sort of a deep, rich blue. And I'm going to come on this side of my mask and um, come up here like this and over this dark purple color that I have. See that? And I'm going to say I want this color over here. And make sure I don't have any white on my... It's just the phthalo blue and the magenta, I think, is the color I want. I want this nice, dark, um, natural purple color. With that, that would be what I would call it, a natural purple. Come on this side of the nose and come down here. Okay, and I want something a little bit darker right here on the side of his head. So that'll be darker. All right. Now, that has to kind of dry before we can do much else. We could do a little bit, and I'll rinse the brush and show you what we can do while it's still wet. Sometimes people want to know, well, when can I do wet on wet? We'll take a little bit of phthalo green and phthalo blue and white and mix a color like that, okay? Phthalo green, phthalo blue, and white. All right? And I know I want that right in here. I want that to come down the center of the nose and up in this area, right above here like that. Now I want to blend this in to uh, maybe some of this over here like that, all right? So what I, you do is you take a different brush, like here's a little blending brush like this. This is a, um, it's, it's just a little round blending brush. And you take that and you just, you can wet it Wipe it off, and then just you can smudge these these this um, the the color so that it, one color bleeds into another. All right. So we'll do this again. We'll come under the eye right here, like that. I was able to bring that under the eye, and then I will just take this this little brush here and just tap in because this blue's still wet. I can tap in, wipe off. Can tap in that that color so that it looks more like a just a highlight, right? Same thing here, right on the nose like that. All right. Then I want a little bit of this blue color right under this eye right here. Okay. 
Now that's not to say we won't add some more colors to this, but this is a good start to learn how to do this. This is, um, if you, practice, you want to practice this, just taking the edges and just sort of wiping off the excess paint like your mop on a floor and add a little highlight of light color. We have to do another, show another color on top of this, all right? But this is a good, this is a wonderful start on, on doing something like this. We're going to just say this did this and this came over here like that. All right? And then we'll just very softly, maybe take a little blue, very softly, just smudge these colors together. Practice that, you know what I mean? If you're just sitting around watching TV, take a couple colors and practice the smudging technique of being able to do that, all right? Because I think you'll find that it's very, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, I think you will be surprised, okay? Now we can't do much more to the mask, except we could take some uh, black, and, um, and in this case we do want black. And um, I'm just gonna take, uh, let's see, I've got some bottles of that somewhere, all laid out here, easy to find. Here, here's some just uh, lamp black, acrylic fluid, right? And I really want something black, so I will save this little, see one of these little dishes like this? I'm going to save that out. I'm just going to put a couple drops. Now, if you didn't have black, um, you could do maybe dark purple and ultramarine blue together maybe if you didn't have black or black Posca pen you could do that too right yes and yes so let's just take a little soft brush and let's just paint in the eyes like that there you go all right on the mat there we go pretty simple don't need a lot of paint that's all the only place we're putting black, but do you see how much darker it is? Uh, well, we may put it over here a little bit too, but I think you can see how much darker it is and how these eyes um, uh, really stand out. Uh, any questions, John? Uh, not at the moment, my queen. They want to know what brush you were using, I told them, so. What? They want to know which angle brush you were using, the 3 8 Yeah, 3 8 angle, yeah. yeah. So this area up here, what I want to do is I'm going to just sort of change, change brushes now because I need a clean one. I want to come on up here, and I'm going to take some white and a little bit of yellow oxide, like 1%. I'm going to come on up here and taking the white and yellow oxide. Let's kind of mix that together a little bit. It's not really white. It's really sort of an off-white, okay? I want to come up here like that, and I want the brush strokes to go in this direction toward the mask. And I'm not, I'm going to keep, I'm not going to go to all the way down, say it about three fingers out. And I'll bring it down this way. And the brush direction makes, makes a difference. And let me show you why, okay? You remember last week we did this, um, I showed you how to do, you know, gradated something, right? Well, suppose I want a waterfall, all right? I'm going to change brushes. This is a kind of key to learn this stuff, right? So I've got a waterfall, and I've got a, I've got some land or something, and I've got coming along here like that. I'm going to say, here's my waterfall, and I've got a lake down here, okay? And my waterfall is going to be here in the middle, right? With me? Yeah. And then here's the here's the cliff. Yeah. Well. If I take my brush, all right, and I take my water, I'm going to paint the water, and then here's my lake on top of here, right, like that. There's my lake. And I'm just going to come across here like this and say, there's my waterfall. It doesn't look like a waterfall, does it? It looks like a fence. The only way that's going to look like a waterfall is if I bring it down. You see what I mean? And if I don't make this level again at the bottom, um, you're not going to understand what it is, right? 
So brush direction is really key, all right, on, on, on what you're painting. And just keep that in mind because our eyes, as, as, um, as people who read and learned reading in school, our eyes follow, and math, our eyes follow lines. And this, even though this isn't a line, our eye really does follow that. And um, a line that is, you know, this, this has an energy to it, okay? I know, not, not to get too crazy on you, but that's what it does, all right? So I know I've got this coming in here like that, all right? And if I wanted to take a little tiny bit of that purple color, and um, I'm just, boy, I hope that, now I'm going to, I put that on the brush, now I'm going to rinse it off and grab some of this off-white color here and grab a tiny bit of that purple. See how I mix that? And I'm going to come up here like this, and I'm going to streak a little bit of this purple here. Not much. There you go, a little bit of streaks. Nothing, nothing too scary. All right. That's all I did there. Okay. And on the other side, I'm going to take some white and a little yellow and orange. I'm going to make a peach color. All right. Not enough white in that. Just put a little bit of the yellow oxide in it. Okay. So I'm going to come up here in this corner. I've just got a little bit of peach right there. That's it. Okay. So, so far it hasn't gotten too tricky on you, has it? You're all still pretty good with that? You know, they might bring some of this color down here a little bit in the middle. Like that. Let's just do a little bit of this color. Yeah. Right in here like that. There we go. Then I'm going to take some of the cad yellow light and come up here like this and do that. Okay? Everybody's good with me? <laughs> all right, so you can see, kind of see that that's, you know, we're just doing this in stages, not trying to do it all at once. Sometimes people, they get to painting, they want to do everything at once. Everything has to be done at once, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to be an act. Just move around the canvas if you have to, but don't do it all at once. Give it a chance to kind of set up and dry, all right? So I'm going, to, I'm going to come back with the phthalo green and white, okay? Because it's actually kind of a turquoisey blue color when you do that. And I'm going to come up here like this, a little bit more white with that. I come in here like this, and I'm going to lighten this area here like this, and maybe a little bit more light on the nose. Like that, right up in here, okay? Put a little bit of light, maybe something lighter under here now. Something a little bit lighter under here. We're not trying to blend it anymore. We're just adding kind of some highlight colors. Come all the way down to the end of the nose. All right. Yes and yes. Okay, that works. Maybe a little tiny, if it's still wet, but maybe a little tiny bit of white. Would you put a little bit of white up there like that? Yeah. A little bit of white right there. Barely touch it. All right. So, all right. So that's, that's kind of the highlight of our mask. So what's going to make this mask really stand out is all the gold color around it. Now, I need, I can't have, um, Yellow works, only works over white, so I'm going to have to come in here with white now, where I had it dark blue. And, um, and paint some white. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because my gold won't show up otherwise. Alright, so I'll just put, paint that white frame. It's going to be yellow, but that's kind of what I, pretty much what I have to do. So then I'm looking at this going, okay, so what else could I paint right here? Well, we could, um, we could paint her mouth. Any questions, John? Is I'm just... No, you're doing great. Really? Absolutely. I want to thank everybody that on YouTube and, you know, um, all you guys that, uh, you know, sent birthday cards and wishes and, and, and the nice comments on, um, on Facebook. You guys, that was marvelous. Thank you so much.
Another year has come and gone. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Just seems like yesterday. I'm using a, just a little bit of a detail pen. It would be, if you go to our Amazon store, we have these. Um, we, so you can buy them, I and we don't make any money off of them, maybe five cents if you buy one. But we appreciate you using our link anyway to Amazon, if you're shopping on Amazon anyway. Um, you know, yeah, no it all what helps. You buy, you know, eventually we'll be able to afford another camera. It all helps. Like that, there you go. So we'll put, the, the, put that mouth in. And uh, one of the things I need to do is put the nose in. So I'm going to take a little bit of this white. I do with my black. Well, let's see. I want a little blue purple. Purple, blue, gray color. Okay. But probably more blue than that. More, more, maybe a little phthalo blue in it. There you go. Kind of, kind of a blue gray color. No. Notice I'm always kind of round the brush off again. And I'm going to say that there's a nose that's sticking down here like this. You just, in this particular uh, painting, you just see her, um, just the tip of her nose, because the mask covers down, um, covers it, all right? You don't really see much, and then you're just going to see... Um, Her nostrils like that on each side of her nose. That's that's all you're going to see. And then you're going to have. I'm going to just take the gold paint. You're going to have some. We're going to have some gold. That's going to come down here like that. And it'll be over the tip of this, and it's going to come down. On this side, so I'm just I'm just drawing that in so that I can kind of see where the nose has to be, right? So it starts to take shape, and then if I take a little bit of white right here, um, I can just narrow her nose just a little bit like that. All right, and then you've got little tiny bit of this shadow on this side, okay? You can just barely see it, okay? There's your shadow there, and then here's our white here, so we're just barely going to see that. Probably it's almost more this color, just on this side of it. All right, we'll just stop there for now, okay? All right, so all right, so you you with me so far? So far, you haven't lost anybody. Haven't lost anybody, right? And we've had a chance for this to kind of set up a little bit. So when you're doing feathers, all right, when you do feathers, you've got to do, layer them like the back feather first, and then the next feathers, right? So we're gonna put some feathers on her, and. Uh, I know I've got a really nice purple feather with some magenta and purple, like that. Maybe put a little bit of blue in it. And I want to come up here and just, ooh, I'm going to have to put some white with that. Just going to suggest just some feather coming up this way. Just push and lift up, okay? Kind of a flick of the wrist. Push and lift up, right? That's what I want, a little bit of feather coming up that way. All right. And I might take some red, some cad red maybe, and uh, put a little red up here like that. Just suggest some, some red just peeking through. All right. And uh, I'm going to take some yellow and orange, kind of that orange color. And I want to say that I've got, uh, let's see, up from, up from, see the corner of her eye, and you go straight up here. It's going to curve, 
curve this way, we're going to say that we've got some feather feathers over the orange coming this way. We're just going to add that layer and maybe even make feel it a little thick right there. Okay, say so that that's going to be some feathers. Okay, and uh, and I know I'm going to I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow color in that orange just a little bit maybe put some other here just a little bit lighter than this orange okay then over here I can do some kind of bright cad red orange right and then push and lift up I tried to I went ahead and tried to do a mask that was so simple anybody could do it that was my plan I think I'm and that was that was really the goal of this was to make it so simple that was, this would not be a challenge to anybody to do. Okay, another coat of paint on the lips. Now, um, hey, let's give Becky a thank you for her PayPal donation that came in, and she's got herself a ticket in the fishbowl. Oh, thank you, Becky. Thank you so much. All right, now this is this is uh, luminous rose. And we're going to come up here like that, over a little bit over the yellow like that, and say, there's our luminous rose bright color. All right, so far, you're with me so far? So now, just, I don't really have her anywhere else. I could put her a little bit over here, maybe, and up in this corner. I could add some of that color, but um, basically we're saying that this is the luminous rose color. Now, when you're layering colors, if you do them all at once, you'll end up with mud and you won't know under, understand what happened. This is still wet, but what we can do is we can come down and we can add some feathers down on this part of her face, all right? So we're gonna start with white and magenta. And a little bit of ultramarine blue, okay? And I want to come here, and again, I want to come down here. And on this is our bottom part of our canvas, and I want the brush strokes to be all going this way, right? So we're going to come right under her chin like this. Maybe make it a little bit darker. Add a little blue in there. And then when we get to this side of her of her uh, face, we're going to come over here with the blue, more of the more of the blue on this side. A little bit of dark blue and magenta, no white. Okay. Maybe a little phthalo blue over here. We're going to suggest that that's what these colors are over here. So we went over the purple, but now we're adding these colors, all right? And notice the brush strokes. Yeah? See the sound effects and everything? You with me? Sound effects. And I even want to keep, I want to keep something a little bit darker up into here. Like that. Just swirl that this way. All right. All right, and so far, maybe put a little bit of a dark color right here on the side of her face. I'm going to darken it here and here. All right. So, so far, we're good, right? Hey, I want to thank Melinda for a donation that came in through Super Chat. Thank you very much, Miss Melinda. I do. I want to thank you very much. I want to dry this for a minute so that I can keep going on, but... One thing I did want to show you is if you, I don't have, we've sold so many of these, but we have all kinds of Mardi Gras mask tutorials, both in the Academy and on YouTube. If you're an Academy member, just type in the word mask. And I don't remember if these were Academy or um, YouTube, but I know this one was a YouTube one. Um, and then we've got a really cool white one with white and gold. We've got some beautiful ones. Um, 
I think you might if you if you're just and what you know what makes these nice these are very nice in a powder room in the ladies bathroom powder room these are not just because of Mardi Gras they're very very nice you can do that so paintingwithginger.com just type in the word mask see what we've got I'm going to take a moment and dry we got some beautiful um, gifts from a from uh, Debbie sent us some, some, we needed bowls, Debbie. I don't know if you were psychic, but these beautiful bowls are dishwasher and microwave safe, but they look like they're all hand thrown. Um, uh, you know, six bowls, you have a picture of those, John, why I dry? Uh, yeah, let me mute your, one second here, we'll mute you down. Okay, go ahead. Wait, 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 I gotta turn my mic on. Hi guys, can you still hear me? I'm assuming you can. I think this one's still on. Let me see, I have a picture of her bowl. I wanted to share those with you because they were kind of cool. Let me see if I can find it quickly here. So anyway, when another camera goes out, it, just, it throws you off. When you're ready to go live, it seems just you do the final switches to turn everything on and and things just start fading into the sunset. This makes you go crazy. Okay, I got the bowls. I'm gonna get my software. Just hang on a second, dear boss. Hang in there. Here we go. Because these are really cool bowls. You guys have got to see these. Aren't they gorgeous? No, we can't see them yet. Oh, can't see them yet. <laughs> Not yet, but we're, we're, we're close to it. We're close to it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I've got to turn you back on. So hold on. Let me switch it over. And then switch you back on. And turn my other one off. Okay. Okay. There they are. Awesome. So I'm back on and John's showing you the guys the bowls. Aren't they just, hey, you know, aren't they just neat? That, uh, the, that's my cutting board. Uh, that, yeah, that's they're sitting next the to one of our cutting boards. We have a whole line of our artwork on cutting boards and we've used them for over a year now and, and they've been great. So we didn't want to talk too much about them until we felt confident that they were a good product. But thank you much for those. That was so lovely, right? Excellent addition, Debbie. Thank you. So we, we, we love that. So thank you very much. Now this is a painting that's going to need a, a few pens. All right. And one of the things I want to do with a pen is I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to outline with a pen. Make sure I've shaken that pen up. Gold, I want gold there, but gold only goes nicely over white, right? Or red. Gold looks pretty good over red too, and you know. But I'm I'm afraid on that, so I'm going to just. Um, I lay down white first. I'm laying down the white. To really get a, um, a good red out of it or gold. Right. I'm going to lay down the white a little bit and put in the the swirly. These are Artisto pens. I think I have a fatter Posca one. It's got a fatter tip, might be good. I don't know which one that one is. I'll look and see, because that can, can, sometimes that can make a difference. You can, if you're really careful with the brush, I guess you can, yeah, here it is. Here's the fatter Posca pen. And you see I'm just doing a, a little bit of a design here on the, on the edge of here like that. Let me really shake that one up. I'll really, really shake it. So again, we're gonna we're gonna say here's the outline on the eye. Turn the painting if you have to. Turn the turn the picture. All right. I want to say that that's the, can we go all that and make that pretty wide? All right. And then I know that, for instance, I'm going to have, um, 
a wide um, mask here going across her nose. And that's going to be like gold. So I'll fill that in. And you know, you could take your time and you know make up your own design. You've got the pens, you got a little time. Uh, we tried to keep this simple, All right? Okay, there we go. And uh, as you, see, you can see, even the white is not that, it doesn't show up that much, does it? But that's all right. You know, when you're doing stuff like this, you gotta just kinda go with the flow, no pun intended. And um, so even a second coat of white on these doesn't hurt before I put the gold. But, you know, it's at, and it, maybe I want it a little bit deeper under here like that. A little bit thicker under the bottom of the eye. So this is when you start you know getting a little bit more accent clever with this all right so that being said i'll put these pens at, you know kind of where i can get to them easily so i don't lose them we did that i'm letting that dry. let's do a few feathers let's do, just do a few feathers now you want an angle brush is wonderful for feathers for instance i want right in here and i just kind of show you it just I'll draw it in. I want a feather coming curve like that. It comes up here and curves, and it's going to come out like this and curve back down. All right. And then underneath it, there's and I'm going to use just the yellow and the the yellow and the the yellow and the two yellows together. And I'm going to say right over this one right here. All right. I know I want. I want a feather coming this way. You see how I'm pushing down? A lot of paint, thick paint like that, pushing down. All right, and as I come up this way, then I want to take the same amount of paint, and I want to say right up here and maybe here, I'm going to say there's a feather underneath, okay? And then I'll take the yellow and the orange, and I'm going to say there's a there's a feather here, like that. Feather here, and maybe a little bit of red or pink. Come up this way, like that. It's kind of a flick of the wrist sort of thing, what you're doing here. All right. Because um, you've got to layer these on. So while that's drying, we'll do the pink ones down here. So we've got, on the bottom, we've got some white and um, magenta. And we're going to say that uh, here there's just, again, this is the next layer of feathers. Let's give Sheila a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. And she got her ticket in the fishbowl as well. Oh, thank you very much, Sheila. You're very much appreciated. This has been a tough year for people. and. We appreciate it very much. All right, now here's a little bit of luminous rose. And I'm going to come on top of this and add a little bit of that color. Now, if you use an angle brush with this and a little bit of white, you kind of do like that, and then you can flick the feathers. See how I'm kind of flicking the feathers? Yeah? And I'll flick some feathers down this way. And I maybe want a little bit of that color up there. So it's already feeling a very, very party-like, yes? So it takes some purple and white. Okay. And let's do a little feather over here like that. It's got a little, few little colors on the brush. As we keep adding these colors. 
Now the next color, I think has this dried? Probably close enough. We're gonna we're gonna go for it, alright? So I want some white and phthalo green. Now for your feathers, you're still using your your angle brush, right? Yep. Got the half inch one or three eighths? Just the 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 half inch. Yeah, it looks like a half inch. All right, so, so I've got the angle brush for those feathers. So this is phthalo green, and I want to come up here like this. Remember, I told you we wanted to do it. Now, a lot of people would have thought that was phthalo blue, but it's not. It's okay, and we're going to say we've got. A feather coming up this way. With, with me so far. And just don't be afraid to overlap another feather. Alright. Can I put some of this blue back in here? No, it's, it's a little dirty. Here, let's try that. A little bit of this green color here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so then. I want to say that I've got. Um, we're going to do two. We're going to do two tone here. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take the white and ultramarine blue, make a color. Okay, just white and ultramarine blue. Let's mix that up. Three quarters ultramarine blue, one quarter white, maybe. Pinch the brush. I want to come up here like this, and I'm going to make a feather that's coming out this way. And I want to have that same feather coming off of here like this, little one. Okay. Then, there's a then, okay? Then we'll take the thalo, we'll take the white and thalo green after we've really rinsed the brush well. Maybe a little bit more white with that. Okay, then kind of reshape your brush. Pinch it off and reshape it. We're going to come right on top of this with a few little feathers. Fairly thick. And where are we going to go here? Here like this. Then we'll get some phthalo blue and add to that. Okay, so we've got a little bit different color. They come out this way. Then we want to come up this one at the center of this. And maybe something dark over here. All overlapping. Everybody overlaps. Everybody. Yes and yes. All right, so we're good. We're getting some feathers. All right. Then let's take some um, white and uh, red. Kind of cad red. I'm going to start a new tablet. Okay, there's some white and red with me. And I'll add some magenta to that. And I'm going to see what I can get. Is this, this is a good color. I'm going to come out this way with it. On this side of her. For color. Flat and then twist the brush and lift up. Flat and twist the brush and lift up. And then let's take some white and um, uh, the rose color, right? Luminous rose and add that color. Um, here's some opera. This is luminous opera. So if I want to say I want something lighter right here. Or right up in here. These are the luminous colors from Holbein, and they're perfect for a mask. If you're trying to, they have to go on last. All right. If you're trying to just 
create some excitement in the colors. All right. I didn't put any of that color up here too. All right. So now let's start decorating the mask. I've got some pens, but before we get into those, we'll, we'll put the highlights on her lips. Let's give Clarissa a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. It's a game changer. She's got her tickets in the fishbowl. Oh, thank you so much. We, you can't know. We really appreciate it. Um, let's take a little bit of this purple and white. And let's have something fun on the side of the face. Let's just do a little bit of, this is a little just out of a detail brush. And let's add a little bit of this color. Right like that, a little bit more of the purple, and right along the side of her face, it's it's purple, down to her chin. And then on this side, we're going to go a little darker. Whoops, too dark. Let's take a little magenta with that. Okay. We're going to have a little bit of a shadow on this side of her face. Okay, and I'm just gonna, you want to care, be careful not to get that face too wide. And you can bring it in with, um, with shading. All right. So I've got a little bit of white there like this. See, let's see, let's take a little bit of white. I'll show you what I mean. I've got that color and I've got a little bit of that color. And I showed you last week how to do gradations, but this is the same thing. See what I'm doing here? softening that line out so that it's it's a dark shadow but it's it's not a line okay so it's just kind of darker under here but you want to put a little paint on the brush and just tap it out so it just melts into something else okay All right and then just put more of a shadow down on this side of her face and next to her chin we'll just do a little pink All right, so she's got um, just some good, some good colors. We have to do a few more on top of that red, but we can do it. All right, so she's pretty good with that. Then I'm going to rinse the brush again, wipe it off. And uh, let's see, I don't really want to use that one anymore. Let's do a smaller brush. I want some gold right there on her lips, so I'm going to take some yellow. And I'm going to put right here on there. I'm going to barely touch it. I'm going to just suggest on that bottom lip a couple of highlights and a little bit on the top of the bow. Okay, so that's this. So let's take some bright yellow now. Come over here like that. And um, that cad yellow light and let's go ahead and start on her mask so this is where you can have some real artistic flair if I want to come up here like this all right and I'm going to say that I've got, just using some yellow here, like this is a small brush, I'm going, to, I'm going to just add some painting designs to this. All right. And the same thing here. I'm going to come up here to this one. And um, if you have a big blob of paint like that, just roll it off. You want it just on the tip, but I want to come under here like this and do some swirls. All right. Then we're going to come down here on the side of her face and uh, I'm going to do another swirl, swirly thing up here. Okay, so the, both sides don't have to be the same, but um, you can do that. Um, so 
someone's going to ask the question, can you use real gold paint? I, yeah, you could, I guess. We'll do a little bit of that. So this brush is pretty not, it's not, I, actually I do better with a small angle than a detail, believe it or not. I get actually better results from a small angle as far as doing stuff like this. But you can see how she's, she's coming along, right? So we're going to take that same yellow, make sure that we have wiped off the excess paint. If it, you've been rinsing brushes in water, you've got to get all the water out of it. Look at the dark that was on that brush somewhere when I really washed it out. So, the, you know, this is where people lose the color because there's some real dark on that brush. And um, you see, I had to clean it out. Now I come back into the yellow and I take a little bit of this orange and yellow. And I'm going to say that um, I'm going to roll that off my brush. So I just kind of flatten it out. And, and then I'm going to say I've got some, I've got some of this uh, kind of cad yellow light and orange on here on the mask. All right, and um, when I get over here, I'm going to use the yellow. And you may have to do a, a couple coats, you know. Then I come back on the, on the other side, we're going to add a little bit more of the orange color to it. It's almost a rickrack to those of you who sewed. It's almost a rickrack design, I think, is what I came up with. Because I figured that would be something that would be pretty easy for most people to do. Okay? Now, going back into our orange color, right here in the center, I want to pull some orange. Just come right up on here like that. This is still wet, but I think I can get away with this, all right? And let's see, do I have anything here I can add? There you go, like that. All right. Uh, let's see, let's try the yellow around the eyes. Just using the angle brush. Honestly, you could spend some real time with this if you wanted and use your pens and all your toys. But already, as you can see, what we're doing is that we're bringing it out. And I'm going to take a little of the yellow oxide color and then bring it in here on the mask on top of that light yellow. Bring something curved around her head like that. Yeah? It's your mask. You can have it any way you want, yeah? Absolutely. You make it your own. Well, I think that that's one of the things about a painting like this is that you can, you know, what what's the, not that you would go nuts, but you can go a little nuts, right? And um, what if you did? Would it be okay? And I think it would be, don't you? Yeah, what would you do? Yeah. So I'm going to take a little, I'm going to play with this mask a little bit, uh, this feather. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark blue on both sides of this and create a little shadow. That's that thalo blue. Let's give Sharon a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. It brightens up our day. Thank you very much, Sharon. And you've got a ticket in the fishbowl. Thank you very much, Sharon. That's very kind. Now, I want to dry that, okay? Just, just mute me for just a second. Just have to dry this, right?
All right, now we're going to do a second layer on this feather. All right. First off, we're going to we're going to give it a stem. Okay, we lost our paper towel, didn't we? Flew into the paint and I had to throw it away. Okay, so here, so flatten the brush out. Here it is, paint just on one side. We're going to come up here, paint just on one side, no globs. We're going to come up here like this. It's got to flow a little better than that. I'm going to come right up here like this and say that's the stem of this feather. Okay. Now I'm going to go on top of that with some white. Right on top. Just on the left of it. So now I've got that. Now I'm going to take that same kind of light color and using the brush. This is our next layer of color on this feather. And I want, it, I want fairly thick paint and I want it to be kind of globbed on a little bit like this where, I'm, where it's got several colors at the same time. See that? I'm going to come this way and a little of this color in here, right? Then we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to say that there's this phthalo blue and white color with some green in it. All right, let's mix that over here. All right. So I want to say that there's a got another feather there, which I like. Um, so far so good, yeah? Everybody's with me? Hang in there. I, I want colors to show up here. Thalo blue and thalo green, it really is honestly, to me it's a blue. It just is, it's a, it's a blue, but I need a little bit of white here. I need kind of a white highlight right here that I wasn't getting. All right, and under here too, there you go. Too green. All right, so now, I think after having done this, I think I'll change brushes because I've got blue on it, I'll never get it off. I'm gonna do a, a more of a, taking that pink color and the white, that luminous pink, luminous rose color, I'm gonna come up here like this and suggest a feather on top of all of this. There you go. Then maybe I can come under here and get the next light color under her chin as this dries. Just kind of give your brush some, a chance to do its thing, right? All right, maybe we'll take a little bit of a red here and we'll... All right. So, okay, so now... We're, we're, we're almost there, wouldn't you say, John? We're pretty close, right? You are knocking on the door. Knocking on the door, right? We're almost there, not quite, quite yet. Maybe just some of this color over here on this side. Put a little bit of purple with it. Want the lighter side here. All right. And maybe something very dark up in here. There we go. We don't want to lose our darks. Just kind of pull that in there like that. Now this is where that it gets sort of fun. You've got a I've got a lot of these these pens. I've got a a gold pen. 
like this and I could kind of work away over the light right like that I could play with the gold um, I think I will just use a brush but I think you could use for instance you know if you wanted to for instance you could use these pens to just you know define the lips or whatever you needed to do sometimes for a lot of people it's easier to use a pen than it is to use um, uh, a brush this is uh, we're naturally uh, more related to, to pens like for instance is it easier to use a red pen under here than it would it be a brush if you had a red line under here maybe okay or you can take a, a pen like for instance that gold one so we've got to make sure you can't paint over anything that's wet but you can take like a gold pen and um, you know, paint over any of these, really. Particularly if they're lighter in color. If, you, if they're lighter in color, you've got... Gold doesn't really paint on a lot of stuff. But you can... You've got some leeway if you're... I want to give uh, Debbie a thank you for her donation that came in through the Venmo. And she too has got a ticket into Fishbowl. Thank you very much, Debbie. That's awesome. Okay, so then if I, I did, you know, I kind of was, I was playing with those pens, right, a little bit. And um, let's see what have I got here. So, so much depends on, you know I mean, do you need to put some orange in? Is it easier to do it with a pen than it is with a brush? We need to shade that a little bit right here. All these decisions that you have to make. Well, there's a lot of decisions, John. People don't, you know, there's a lot of decisions, right? But as you add the orange and the red to the, uh, and, and you or add orange or red to, um, uh, to the gold, it makes it stand out more. All right, so for instance, if we said there was some red coming up here, you know, this is a pen, but I could have used paint, right? A red line on the inside, right like that, would that show? You, it, it's really interesting how fast this um, um, can change depending on the colors that you do. See? Now just... That was right over some wet gold, but anyway. So, you know, you, again, with something like this, You've got some leeway to play. I think I'd rather just do a little bit. I mean, I like the pens. I just wanted to show you you could use them. If you bought a bunch of pens, what can you do with them? That's always the big, big question, isn't it? What can I do with these pens? What would, what would be... These are acrylic paint pens, right? And you can see that this yellow is pretty strong, isn't it? These are the acrylic markers. And I, have to, I will have to say that they're... Um, that they're very they're very strong as far as how bright the yellow goes and stuff. Something a little brighter right here on the lip. I'm actually pretty impressed as far as what you can, you know, what you can do with it. You don't want to make the, you don't want to get this into a drawing. You got to be careful with that, but you can do like a few accents for sure, right? Without getting, um, uh, a lot of times someone will put like right in the center, they'll put um, uh, like a gem or something. They'll put a gem in there and you can do that. I've done that on some of mine. Wanted to do something a little bit different. This is just a yellow pen, okay? 
Uh, I want a little uh, shadow under where? Under here. Just remember we did that a little bit, but if I can just take the pen and just do a little shadow right under the lip, right there like that, I can smudge that out. That, that makes a difference. Just that little blue shadow just on this part makes a difference. See what I mean? Um, Gives it depth. Yeah, I mean... A little roundness. You, you don't... You, it's, it's, it's very interesting to me how some tiny little thing like that could make any difference whatsoever. Like, for instance, if I said... Uh, here's the... These artistic pens are interesting. You don't have to shake them. But, for instance, you can add some detail with these a little bit, right? Hey, let's give a thank you to Dominique for the donation that came through PayPal. And it's deeply valued and appreciated. And you have a ticket in the fishbowl. Oh, and who, who am I think? Who is it? Dominique. Yes, thank you very much. So, I guess when I'm... Um, like, for instance, maybe I would want to do, I don't know, some pearls or something. You're going, really? I'm going, yeah, why not? Why couldn't we have pearls? <laughs> um, you know, I could have pearls, right? You can have pearls. I, I didn't have any in the original design, but I could have pearls. Right? I could have, I could have pearls. Well, of course you I have really pearls. think that... Why couldn't um, you have pearls? Something a little darker there, maybe a little brighter somewhere else. Don't want to lose all my... Ooh, look at that big plunk of paint. Um, but what if I wanted some just um, beads or pearls or something, right? I could have that. Want something a little redder on this side of the... This side of the shadow side of the mask, so it's a little bit oranger. That makes sense. Still not quite getting the orange that I want. So I mean, I guess you have to decide what's what's gonna really make it stand out. All right. But if I wanted something going up there that was like, oh, just maybe even a pearl, right? I could maybe do something in the center, like this. Probably should have thought of that first, but just just say I wanted to do that. So, um, one side would have to be darker. And there would have to be a white highlight or something on it, right? And then you want a shadow side here. I think I have a little gemstone here like that with just a little bright highlight on it in the center. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you'd want to. Um, 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 uh, I don't know, different color, maybe purple, I don't know. Put a little shadow on it there, see what I'm doing? Adding a little shadow underneath it like that. Now it's standing out even more than uh, when I did it before. So this is where, you guys, this is where your creativity on a painting like this, this is where you say, well, this is what Ginger did, but you know what? I think it would look much cooler if I did this, that, or the other, whatever the, uh, this, that, or the other is for you, right? Absolutely. Because you, this, this, that, or the other, this cadmium orange, I don't like that brand, I just I want a brighter orange and I don't have it here. Here's my cadmium orange. That was VAT orange, it's not bright enough. Okay, look at the difference on this one. Look at the difference on this color. Can you guys see it? Um, 
sometimes it's just a, just a tiny bit of paint. It doesn't have to be anything. Because reds are your primary colors, you know, as part of your primary colors, you can't mix an orange as well as you can, um, as an, anywhere near as well as you can, um, uh, you know, just, just buy the right color, yeah? It's just CAD red light. So I want these brighter. Okay, so those lips really pop out now. So you have a little frame for this, John, and what we're getting that. Let me show you. I realize that some of you guys like different color palettes. Like I had someone say they wish they had more Tuscan landscapes, and I heard you when you said that, right? And... Um, Again, I absolutely heard, heard you when you said all those things. And, um, uh, and we'll do more of that. I, your input on what goes on the show really makes a difference. You kind of decide what we do for the most part. You know, it's just, it, it's our Mondays together, in spite of Grumpy John. It's our Mondays, yes? Our Monday. It's our Monday. And, um, uh, we want, we want to do things that interest you because, of, you know, and this, you know, we want to create things that you want to learn, that you really want to, you know, that you want to see. This is a painting, where's my apple painting? You took it. You moved that and there got my apple painting. I was going to show that, but sorry. Well, um, I, I, I don't have an apple painting. It's a peach. Well, I lied. It's a peach. But, <laughs> you know, he's just being obnoxious. <laughs> it just, it's to your it, left now, my queen. To my left. I don't even know what left is. I know. Where's my left? That, he's confusing me, you guys. He says things like it's to your left. I wanted to come up for our, our, for our Academy members, just a red, red and purple members, right, <clears throat> with a painting with a new color palette. We're going to do a whole series of these food paintings and these soft pastel colors. You guys are the first one to see them. And here we are with the peaches, and it's all in the soft colors, which is, you know, um, one of the things you guys, if you're new to our channel, is that we have an art school, paintingwithginger.com. It's our academy. It's self-paced, and what the deal is, we have over 700 videos step-by-step. -step. There's not a lot of chat in them. It's just me <coughs> explaining how stuff to do. And um, and it goes from never picked up a paintbrush in your entire life to you want to paint something out of the Louvre. That's 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 the gauntlet. That's why we call it one cookie, two cookie, box of cookies. A lot of times on this show, we show you a box of cookie lessons. This is really probably a two cookie. Very easy to do. We show you a really neat trick on how to get that pit just to look like that. How to make a knife look silver without using black. It's all fabulous. So... Think about um, checking out paintingwithginger.com. All right. Now, pull it down. Pull here, it here, back. just about to point, pull it like that. So, <clears throat> I think that that was a, this has been, I think this is fun, don't you, John? I think it's fantastic. I, I'm, um, I'm very curious to see what you will paint with it. I'm going to add a few shadows now. I like to do the finishing touches while I can. So if I, saying this is off her face a little bit, if I add a little shadow on this little dipping part right here of her face, right? And uh, maybe lighten up the tip of her nose a bit. Yeah, that that, that frame that? really sets it off, doesn't it? Oh, the frame is just wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Peaches won't be released for probably till March. But we want to know if you like them because we're going to do. Oh, a, we love I, them. We've got a whole series we, of fruit and, and stuff want that now. people want, want to do. Everything now. Everybody wants everything now. They're the generation of instant gratification. I want it now. All right. See what we're doing here. Um,
a little deeper shadow on that. There, see, that room really stands out when you give it a little bit of a shadow, doesn't it? Um, so th th this was, again, you can, you can get um, a lot of different um, painting techniques when you're doing Mardi Gras masks, okay? There's a lot of different ways you can do it. But what we wanted to, what I wanted to try to do was to um, make it easy and um, uh, just a little bit more of a shadow there and make something so easy that if you want to make it complicated, you could, but if you want to keep it simple, you could too. Um, could you take a few, could you take a small brush like this and add some individual feathers if you needed to like that? Did you want to come over and give it a second layer when it dries, just like what I'm doing, see? Something like that. You can do that. Don't want to overdo it, but you could take a little tiny brush like this and, you know, add an individual feather like that. So depending on, you, you know, the brushes you've got and what you want to do with them, you certainly could do that. I wanted this, um, just, you know, I could do that. Just add a little bit more oomph to that feather. Um, there are your possibilities are endless, mm, and I'm going to go. A lot of possibilities. It's it, you know it's you know it's your imagination, and that can be fun. Do we have any questions, John? Before we ask people to subscribe and I, I sign this painting. Please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Come back after the video. Do a little conversation. Yeah, I want to hear. We're trying to get YouTube to realize that we really exist. Maybe yeah, that's a, that's a thing for us too, right? Is that um, you know your comments make a difference. Um, we want to shows think. engagement and that keeps the algorithms or whatever they're called the the Google gods happy. And you got to keep the Google YouTube happy. You do. People are very excited about the um, pastel palette. Well, you know what? I'm glad because we've got a lot of videos planned for that. All right. A whole series. We have a whole, yeah, a whole, whole series a whole, of. A whole gamut. Of, um, of videos, right? And remember, when you're outlining everything, here's a tip you can take to the bank here. When you're outlining anything, thick and thin lines. So if you have it thick on part of the eye, then maybe take a Posca pen and thin out something else, like right, maybe right down toward here, you might make this line thinner. So they just did. It's small stuff, but it's all happy, and I hope this was happy for you. We appreciate you guys so much. Appreciate the support and kindness, and so many of you wish me birthday wishes, and you've been supportive of our story time, and one of my good friends who's a neighbor, uh, Kathy, um, she, her, it's her husband's birthday today, so she's not on, but I hadn't talked to her in months, and she just lives around the corner. It was so funny because she goes, you know, she says, um, I was, uh, I've been listening to the story time, and she says, I was around. I remember when Bob, because Kathy and Cinnamon and I had gone to Europe. It wasn't just Cinnamon. We'd gone to Europe to paint, and when we came back, Bob was installed, right? <laughs> and... Um, um, Kathy remembers that too, right? As, as well she should. Never a dull moment in this household. We haven't gotten so old that she doesn't remember, you know, that she, had, she, she absolutely remembered that. And, hey, with any luck at all, we'll be here next Monday. And, yeah, we'll be here next Monday. Have fun with us. And I can't wait. I want to see what you're painting. B b join our free Facebook club, Painting with Ginger. Uh, is it, was it, what is our Facebook club? Somebody knows. The girls will post it. I forget what it is. Somebody knows. Oh. Well, somebody knows, John. Don't they? Yeah, they know. Somebody knows. Mods, could you put up our Facebook link? Yeah, that I link. You go to Facebook. You put in Ginger Cook Live. You'll find us. Yeah, on Facebook and join. It's just uh, uh, we'd love to. We'd love to to see you there, right? Wouldn't we? We would. And, we like uh, to see what people are painting. It gives us inspiration of what we need to teach you. Yeah, and, and also what you guys like, and it, it's a great way to make friends. And, and, um, and, and there's never heard a discouraging word. 
It's only positive comments. If you want to feel good about your art, join our, <laughs> our, our Facebook club and let me see your Mardi Gras masks. All right. Is that it, boss? Are we done? Are we going to tell the Is... purple members something about their masks? What the? They have them. Oh, purple members. Are you out there? Yeah, purple members in the academy. Pay attention. We can, Listen we, up. This we, is just we realized for you. that this was a very simple mask, and we thought that some of you might want to do something more complicated. So, our purple members, we will have up tomorrow in your <laughs> on your site, the purple member yeah, site. Yeah, I wonder yes. what I'm going to do tonight. Right? Well, it's just two pictures. How hard is it to put up? Yeah, but, how hard is it? How hard could it possibly be? <laughs> That's what I said. Anyway, um, if it's not there to... Well, I think it'll soon. be there tomorrow, right? Want, want it, Sean? Either tomorrow or Wednesday, because I still have to edit this one and put this one up for the... Yeah, so maybe maybe, maybe Wednesday. Wednesday. We'll, have, we'll have two... We'll send an email out to you. We'll send an email out to you guys to and let you know people. we're going to give you two, um, not tutorials, just two... Very different Mardi Gras masks that are much more complicated than this one with lots of detail. Okay, no, 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 not complicated, challenging. Challenging, that's it. <laughs> lots more detail. You're going to scare them away. Don't they, scare them. All right. Anyway, you'll love it. You'll love them. All right. See you later. Is that it? That's it. Do I fade to black now? Fade to black. Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you.